Summer is just around the corner, and while many of us have already begun planning our warm weather getaways, sometimes it's surprisingly hard to find anyone to get away with. So why not plan a solo vacay to reconnect with yourself? So what's a good destination for someone traveling on their lonesome? Something important for any solo traveler to consider is safety, which is one of the best reasons to visit Bermuda. Not only is it safe, but the flight is only a couple of hours from the East Coast, meaning less time spent next to a stranger on a plane and more time spent here. And traveling alone means you're probably going to have less conversation. So why not visit Bali in their myriad temples and practice the Hindu tradition of Mauna or the philosophy of silence. But if you just can't keep your mouth shut, you could always visit Oslo, Norway instead. According to TripAdvisor, nearly all Norwegians are basically fluent in English. And then maybe you can finally figure out why the country always scores so highly on the World Happiness Report. Also, you can visit midsummer to cool off, as Norway's average summer temperature is only 64 degrees. But if you're traveling alone by choice, you're probably sick of people altogether. So the Galapagos Islands, where animals definitely outnumber people, may be the place for you. The islands feature Feature some insane biodiversity, volcanoes, hiking, scuba, and you might even spot some boobies on the beach. The blue-footed variety, of course. And besides, you can't talk to anyone when you're snorkeling with sea turtles anyways.